Hi guys, Mark here, Celtic Crossbows. This week we're looking at the Steamboat Stinger 2 Survival. Last week we looked at the, the Mega Bolts testing and how to improve your groups with the quick acquisition sighting system. This week we change it over completely. We've seen our last video of fitting uh, the Stinger 1 um, sighting system. So with the Stinger 1 sighting system on, we now going to do a, a series of tests with our control bolts to see if the groups improve. Once we've done and gone through our series of tests, using the same bolts we used last week, from the steamboat practice through to the heavyweight, and the, the same order we did as well, uh, the lightweight um, bodkin, very good bolt in my opinion, um, the heavyweight uh, bodkin, and the heavyweight target. All of them very uh, nice bolts, professionally made, excellently done. What we're going to do is I'm going to look at three other bolts then from um, myself and other manufacturers. This isn't really the ideal distance to be testing at, but we'll do it nonetheless to see what the groups are like. Incidentally, I had uh, Master Pew say about um, my bolts. Um, my badges, these are in production at the moment. Um, I'm having problems with my manufacturer, I emailed them and they told me at Elong that they cannot import broadheads to the UK. I think the UK government has already been having a little word in their era. I think they already know they've got to be banning broadheads and um, all this for the UK government is an absolute load of wank. So sign my petition below and get it together lads, there's only 54 signs, there's a matter of a few weeks left on the petition. So these are the bolts um, which people say about buying a copy of. They're not. These here are got one screw in the head and here the head becomes very loose in them after just one use. Mine has uh, a two head design two screws in a head design and they don't. All these are used bolts of mine. This one here, you can see the, he the head is dubbed over at high speed. This will give you bolt steer. We are against another one of mine which is used. Mine got a stainless steel tip and this, as you can see the difference in the quality, is some sort of uh, alloy blade is not up to the same quality. This is a, a fiberglass shaft, mine's carbon fibre. So there's a difference, you get what you pay for in the day guys. I have people say, oh, mine's a rip off. Mine is made with the best quality I can afford. It's, it's that simple. Um, until Joke started bringing things out, uh, my bolts like the, the Badger, these actually came out about um, four or five years ago, even long before Steam William thought of going carbon fibre. So just keep that in mind, is it okay lads? Right, so we're gonna load up now, down the range, five shots with each on target to see how our now Simo Survival S2 uh, so with the Mark one size to see how she performs. Okay our first round of shots is gonna be the practice point. Okay then guys, first round of shots, the lightweight bodkin. We're going to walk it down the board. And uh, as you've already guessed me saying that, couldn't do that last time with the quick acquisition sights. These are for snap shooting, close range, something the same size as a, a pig, something like that, and just rapid shoot. These are for much finer control. Here we go.
Okay, let's go and grab our now pink uh, bodkins. Our second round of shots is going to be the lightweight bodkin. Okay then guys, so we are now with our pink um, bodkins. Take my word for it that uh, I'm doing everything fair and square. I ain't doing no cheating. It's not um, of any benefit to me. I want to do the best I can for you guys. So okay, we're coming at the second spot now. I think I went at 12 o'clock. He's going a little bit low. I ain't gonna adjust the sights though. It's interesting. I'm quite a way to the left. I don't know if I was meeting. Could have been snatching a trigger. Now these were the same as the silver ones last time, if you remember. There was quite a, a spread out group on the open rail, but using the magazine there was much improved, in fact, under a, a thumb sized group. I wasn't going to take you down and have a look, but I find this really interesting. Hey, let's have a look at this group, come on. Because this, I find it really interesting. Look, this is a five shot bugger. This is a five shot, this is my screaming off, with a practice bolt. So that's a much better group than before, I sure you agree. If this was moved across there, every shot would be inside the bull. Now look at this one here, look, this is what I brought you down. It's coming in at a completely different angle. I said one was a flyer. I thought I snatched a trigger. It's, it's, it's strange. Although this is, this is a bad shot, this is me, I admit that. But the group is the same size again as these. But just look at the angle this bolt is coming in at. I've got my finger on you. How the hell can it be coming in at a completely different angle? That's bizarre. Our third round of shots is going to be the heavyweight target point. I'm now approximately, for people know, but 100 shots on this string. And every 20 shots or so, I've been giving the string a touch and leap. So you're loading our bolts now into the magazine or quiver. I'm going to keep it in my one hand. So I've got a better hold on the target while we're firing. Okay, then we're going to go for the number three target, which is top right hand side. Let's see what we get. All of my breaths will be snatched there. <coughs> okay, last one then with the tar heavyweight target point.
our fourth round of shots is going to be the heavyweight bodkin. Okay then guys, so this is the last shot with the control bolts. This is the heavyweight bodkins. And let's see how the groups fare from there. There's some really interesting results for, for coming with these bolts. Right, that's bang on, six o'clock, dead centre. I'm going to hang it up the board, because as I expected, with the heavyweights, so with the 35 pound limb, you would drop it low. So I've shifted my zero from bottom bull to top of bull 12 o'clock. Right, last one. Okay. Right, I'm going to go on to the long range now, I'm going to do this all in one go, it's going to be quicker. The first round of shots is going to be the Cupid Long Range Archery. Okay then guys, we're going to now do the Cupid arrows. Um, they're around about uh, eight and a half, ten inches long. Um, they are much longer than your conventional bolt. They are thinner. But approximately the same weight with these ones, so it gives you further trajectory, but hopefully more stability in long term flight. These five now, we're going to go for number ball one, two, three, four, number five, centre target. Now, these be more like a skewer. Should fly faster. I wish I had a chronograph so I could test these shot for shot. Okay, last one with the Cupid. Mm. Now, strange how I went low for no reason. Um, again, could be down to me, could be down to the crossbow, could be a, a dry spot on the rail. Could be anything. Okay, let's go and get mine. Our six round of shot is going to be my Celtic Crossbows Hornet. Right, okay then. So we're loading up the Hornets now. Should have done this before I cocked a bow. Naughty me. So, here's the last of my bolts in. The rail is loose. Oh, let's have at it. Uh, we're going to go at number eight, centre column, bottom, because I know that the bolts have uh, spread. This is, I'm going to be dropping down into number seven. So, yeah, number eight is going to be the best one. Nice. 
I will say, to keep you guys interested, there is a difference with these long range bolts. And not just mine, all of them. All these bolts will behave different. Right, let's go and have a look. We are bring you guys along. Here we are. And look at the difference in those groups, going back to the Mark 1 sites, as opposed to the Rapid Acquisition site. Okay, we're just going to set my camera up now and we're going to look at these um, uh, results here. Okay, coming at number one, our, our practice bolts. Look at that, the group now is effectively covered by about three fingers in, in all directions. This one uh, was, might be in the first shot, the sighting shot, um, but you can see the group is much tighter than it was on our last video on the Megabolt test. Number two, again, our general group can be covered by three fingers, much tighter. We've got a flyer over here, bring that up. Um, that could be anything but, but interesting. Look at the arrow direction of the shafts, and that one is at a different angle. Strange. So let's say you have an anomalous flyer. So, uh, Oh, there we are. Here's your answer. I said it was a flyer. One of the fletchings has gone on the bolt. So that explains exactly why it's a flyer. Okay then. Uh, perfect line. As you can see, straight line. Um, this is my bolt, so I was walking them down the board. No, it's not. He's a steamboat uh, heavyweight target. But I was slightly adjust adjusting the sight. But again, much tighter group and better than before. We're coming down now to the heavyweight bodkin. Again, much tighter group, better group. If that was a flyer, you can see this brings up. I had some strange results. This one is slightly off centre, as opposed to these. You see, she's coming at an angle, same as this one over here. So, is it, so is it a problem with the flights? I don't know. I'll have a look. This one here. Fantastic group again covered two fingers in that direction. So consistency and level excellent. We take away that bolt day The group, group within two fingers Okay, then what we found with the selection of tests. Let's bring it down over as our quick look The practice points is exactly the same as tin. They're great the Lightweight bodkin, I don't know. This is the third bolt um, to be damaged. Let's take this out, show you. Um, with the flights have come and stuck. Um, they haven't received an impact, they've not hit nothing. They just literally come and stuck. And when we look on a shaft, no adhesive on a shaft at all, hardly. It is minimal. You're going to be a straightforward repair. But to me, that's another point. So that's. Um, of the these now, that's three gone. That's basically each time I shot a film set, one of those type has gone. These have been excellent. These ones um, should be the same processor manufacture. Um, I say should be, but for some reason, these feel a slightly more rubberier flight. And it should be more robust. Same again with the heavyweight bodkin. Um, much heavier uh, in flight. I feel more, ro more robust. Practice points, they are excellent. I had a cut bend in the magazine. But apart from that, again, excellent bolt. The only ones I've had a bit of disappointment with is the silver 
and the pink um, sports bodkins and as for the fletchings coming and stuck no problems with the heads no problems with the knocks just the fletchings um, looking at uh, our other bolts here now um, one of the bolts has actually had a ricochet and went through the flight I think it was the one in the bottom So yeah, so if I show you off flight again, because the camera goes off the front screen you actually see it was ripped through the flight That's really interesting, I've never seen that one done before um, All the other bolts are undamaged or in excellent condition um, Some slight scuffing, the other bolts have glanced off them but other than that, great test, great result As you can see our results have improved by at least 200%. I can prove this. If I turn the mass around, use our results from the first test. I can bring the camera in as I might have a better look. You can see the spread of the shots is greater than the palm of your hand. This is with the quick acquisition sites. But the groupage as you will agree, going back to the Mark 1 sites is far superior. Yes, you lose your super duper safety catch, but your improvement in groups is absolutely amazing. So, saying if you want to stick with open sites, no batteries, no fast point sites, something you can just chuck in the back of your truck, your log cabin, and leave it for literally years. Switch back to your Mark 1 sights, they are better. Next time we're going to repeat this test again but with a scope on. And also we're going to do it with the, the Metal Mark 2 magazine. And we should have been by then my 150 limb as well. We're going to see how they perform then. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, uh, click like, subscribe and share the, how the videos appreciated. It really does help me out. Not everybody does it. I got knocking on a thousand viewers now. I probably get average only about 100 uh, views per video because people aren't hitting the like button. So please let me know, guys. Thanks. Bye bye. Okay, then, guys, thanks for watching this week. Hit the old like button, share the like, subscribe. We'll put one of my hornets to good use. And with that, we say, dancing. Bye-bye.